Hello everybody, my name is Monica Guaira and today I wanted to talk about something that I get a lot of messages about on Instagram. A lot of people are, are always DMing me about film school. I went to film school, I graduated last year and I made a video about my whole process of choosing my career path because um, if you don't know this, I went to med school at first for one year and then I decided that I wanted to do film, so that's what I pursued and I made a video about it and a lot of people asked me a lot of questions about how film school's like, what can they expect, so I thought I would make a video about it. So first I want to talk about choosing film as a career. I know a lot of people have doubts about studying film because maybe they think it will make them a lot of money or that it, since it's an art degree it won't be very helpful for them in the future and I definitely had those same doubts, that's why I <laughs> went to med school for one year but I want you to know that when you're a filmmaker it's not like you're laying around in your living room doing nothing it's a very demanding career I mean if you're going to choose filmmaking as your career you should be aware that it's very stressful when you work on a project when you work on a film or a TV show you usually work for at least 14 hours a day sometimes more than that for months straight you don't sleep you eat terribly you're on your feet for 14 hours and now it sounds like i'm scaring you away but so it's not it's not the best screenplay so if you can't imagine yourself doing anything else other than filmmaking then you have to be a filmmaker that's exactly what happened to me when I was in, uh, in med school, I couldn't stop thinking about what it would be like if I was in film school and every time I heard something or someone talk about film school and how they were studying film, I would get so jealous. So if that's happening to you right now, that's what in your heart you feel like you should be doing, then you should probably do that and go to film school. Or don't go to film school, but be a filmmaker. Also, please don't choose a career based on if it's going to make you money or not. That's what I did at first. And obviously we know how that ended up. I know money is important. I know you should be thinking about money, but when you choose a career, just based on the fact that it will make you money, it won't make you happy. It may sound cliche, but it's the freaking truth. It just won't make you happy. You'll be miserable. You'll be working those 12, 14 hours or even eight hours whatever it is and you won't be enjoying them so yeah please don't let that be a huge factor in your decision it can be a factor but don't let that be just what makes it or breaks it you know okay so now how to choose a film school for you what I did was I researched as many film school film schools as I could and I made a word document and I listed each one of them with its pros and its cons, the location, the tuition cost, the steps to apply because I'm, I was an international student so it's, it was gonna be a lot of steps if I wanted to apply. I think it's a great way to see which one is the right film school for you and of course tuition plays a huge factor in it. So yeah, just make a Word document with all the relevant information that you think can help you make your decision. Trust me, it's very, very helpful in the moment of deciding which film school you should go to. Now, there are film schools that focus more on film theory and film history and stuff like that. And there are other film schools that focus more on being hands-on and more practical. So I went to Fulton University in Orlando and my university was very different from a normal college because it was a two-year college. It was an accelerated program. So I basically had classes Monday to Sunday. Like I could have classes any day of the week at any time. And it was very <laughs> demanding, it was very difficult, but at the end of the day, you finish two years earlier than a normal college and that's what I liked. So that one I thought was perfect for me, but obviously it's not perfect for everybody. So. That's just one example of a different kind of film school that you can go to. It was very hands-on, it was very practical. One day we were learning about a camera and then the other day we were actually using the camera 
So that's one thing that I really, really liked. We did learn about film history, but it was only one class and it wasn't very, I mean, I don't know anything about film history. So if you're more interested in that, film theory, film history, then maybe you can look for a university that offers more on that side. Okay, so what to expect when you're in film school, when you have been accepted, you moved, you're in school now, what can you expect? The first thing is that you have to go with an open mind. You're going to learn about everything that revolves around the film industry and you might go in thinking, yes, I'm gonna be a director, I'm gonna be so successful, I'm gonna direct all the movies. But then you take a sound class and you realize that you actually want to be a sound mixer. That happened a lot at my school. A lot of people, the first day of class, what do you want to be? Cinematographer. By the end of the program, a lot of those people that wanted to be cinematographers and that I wanted to be grips or production designers or directors. So yeah, you should go in with an open mind. Just try to learn about everything because you never know what, my, what your first job out of school might be. It might be being a PA, it might be doing some grip work, it might be doing sound. Just try to learn everything and don't set your mind on one thing because it's useful to know all of the things. Try to network with as many people as possible. You never know who you might be working with in the future. Try to work in as many projects as you can in school and outside of school because you will meet people at those projects and you never know where they might end up or where you might end up and it's always very beneficial if you make connections like that. Also try to learn as much as you can from the teachers because most of them will probably be people who have worked in the industry for several years before. Try to ask them as many questions as you can. A lot of my teachers had projects outside of school and sometimes they brought on students to be PAs or grips and that can really be helpful for your resume. Also, since they have worked in the industry before, they know people out here in LA or New York, of course if you're in the US or wherever you live, they probably know people in the industry and when you move out here or when you are out of school, you don't know if they might be the people who get you your first job after school. So yeah, try to network not only with your peers but also with your teachers. It can be very beneficial. Okay, so that's all I have to say about film school. If you have more questions, of course, my DMs on Instagram are always open. My DMs on Twitter are always open. I can make another part or more videos about film school or the film industry or the film industry in LA. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful for you. And let me know in the comments. Give it a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't because that would make me very happy. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.